Good morning. Go blue. <laughs> He's wearing his hat because he's in honor of me coming to exactly yeah. to Michigan That's in, in your honor <laughs> in Pennsylvania. Well, let me tell you about Michigan with the family. <clears throat> my sister went there. Okay. And my sister took dental hygiene. Oh. And she uh, she wrote a paper that's in their it's in their library. Yeah. Yeah. And then what happened with her? She had a, she got a job when she graduated. She got a job in Detroit, and then eventually Philadelphia, and then finally in Wheeling, West Liberty College, which is now called West Liberty University, which is now very close to Wheeling, was going to start a dental hygiene uh, program. And they asked her to come in and be one of the people that set it up. Okay. And then she worked there for a while. Today, the West Liberty Dental Hygiene School is one of the five best in the United States. You're kidding. Uh-uh. You check it out. You'll find Isn't that right. something? That's it's just a little college up in the hills of West Virginia, near Wheeling. And, um, it's now a university. Yeah. Yeah, and people that we have met everywhere, dental hygienists, you know, oh, they're very familiar with that college. Oh, my great. God. Yeah, a lot of the, the, the yeah. some of that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the family. And uh, let me find I'm leaving. <laughs> You've heard these stories too many times. I, I'm going to straighten up the house a little bit. Okay, here we go. Talking. My father, well, first of all, Aunt Merrill was the first person from the family to come to the United States. How did, why did she not come? I don't know, but she and her husband. Did she meet him here? I don't, I don't know. She and, they had a home in, uh, I think, uh, Hartford, Connecticut. Huh. And, and originally, I think they were in the drapery business. I'm not certain. My father and Dave Resnick, his brother, right? Uh, Merrill asked them to come to the United States. That's the way it all started. And... Uh, so my, uh, you know, as you know yourself, you were there. They were not poor people, no, right? They were not. And my dad uh, evidently had some education. I don't know what kind. Uh, he never was able to speak to uh, read or speak Hebrew. In other words, when he would go to the synagogue and uh -huh. he'd have to say a, a blessing, he couldn't even read it. Huh. I wonder why. I don't know. They knew Yiddish, but they didn't know Hebrew. Hebrew very much. I'm sure they were bar mitzvah, but in in Europe that was nothing like it is here. No, it's not the American bar mitzvah. <clears throat> so anyway, he and Dave took the train and they went to to Germany, and they caught the ship. And what year was that? Do you know? Yeah, exactly. 1910. And uh, they they got to uh, Liverpool, England, where they lived for a while. In Liverpool, they um, uh, they uh, learned English, you know, and uh, they came on the Lusitania. It's something you probably didn't know this. My father came on the Lusitania and landed in New York. On December 25th, Christmas Day, and the two of them then went to Brookline, Massachusetts. Now you know, you can find those ship records on the internet. I think I have it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. We can check it. Anyway, they did not come storage. Storage. They evidently had a, uh, a stateroom of some sort. Of 